Query Properties Access 2007 provides a number of properties associated with queries that you can use to control how a query runs. To open the property sheet for queries, firstly, right-click on the query Product Category. Then, click on the Design View button in the shortcut menu. Click in the upper part of a query window in Design View outside of the field lists. Now click the Property Sheet button in the Show and Hide group of the Design Contextual tab. Now let us see the frequently used properties. Use the Description property to document what the query does. This description appears next to the query name when you view Query Objects in Details view in the Navigation pane. Enter product and category details for the description property. The default view property determines how the query opens when you open it from the navigation pane. The datasheet view is the default, but you might want to change this setting to pivot table or pivot chart if you have designed either of these views for the query. We will be exploring both of these in detail later. Output All Fields property determines whether all the fields should be visible or not. The default is No. If you want to filter and view only unique records, then set the Unique Records property to Yes. No is the default here too. You can set the Top Values property to tell Access that you want to see the first N rows or the first X percentage of rows. If you enter a value, Access displays the number of rows specified. If you enter a decimal value between 0 and 1, or an integer less than 100, followed by a percent sign, Access displays that percentage of rows. If you want to sort the fetch data, you enter the field name on which Access 2007 needs to sort by in the Order By properties. We have seen most of the important properties. There are a few more that are beyond the scope of this tutorial. You can get those details by referring to Microsoft Office Help.